So let's break it down step by step. Step one, removing the rectifier cover. First, remove the three nuts, holding the rectifier cover in place. Once those are off, lift the cover and set it aside. This gives us access to the rectifier, voltage regulator, and brush holder assembly. Step two, removing the rectifier and brush holder assembly. Now, remove the screws holding down the rectifier and then the screws for the brush holder assembly. Pro tip, for long-term reliability, I always recommend replacing both the rectifier and the voltage regulator along with new bearings and a brush holder assembly. That way, you're not just fixing one weak point, you're rebuilding the alternator for the long haul. Replacement parts and rebuild kits are available on our online store. From standard alternator replacement kits to performance upgrade rebuild kits, including rectifiers, stators, and rotors, we carry a wide range of parts in stock. We cover all years and models, all available through our online store. Once the brush holder is free, set it aside. This part wears out often, so replacing it during a rebuild is always a smart move. Step three, disconnecting the rectifier leads. Next, we need to separate the rectifier leads that connect to the stator. Sometimes you'll need to desolder them, but in this case, cutting them with a pair of wire cutters is the cleanest option. Pro tip, for long-term reliability, I always recommend replacing both the rectifier and the voltage regulator, along with new bearings. That way, you're not just fixing one weak point, you're rebuilding the alternator for the long haul.